Shut up. Did you make a deal with Satan? Hi, it's Risa Hase. Go on, everyone. 面白い英語ツッコミ10選 Let's take a look at it. Here we go. I think for people who love watching movies, TV shows, reality TV shows especially, you've probably heard of these phrases I'm going to introduce in this video. Let's get more familiar with these phrases and try to use it in your conversations too. All right, let's take a look at 10 of the phrases together. Ready? Here we go. First one, no way, Jose. So this phrase can be used when you're saying absolutely not. So in Japanese, I think it can be translated to like, zettai nai kara, zettai arie nai kara, zettai yara nai kara. You were invited to your friend's party, but you found out that someone you don't like is going to be there. Then to the party invitation, you can go, there's no way that I'm going to that party if she's gonna be there. No way, Jose. Another casual example is you started living on your own and your room got so messy and your mom came over and keep on saying, clean up your room, clean up your room. Then you can just go, mom, no way I'm cleaning my room on my day off. No way, Jose. Next one, shut up. So for this phrase, if it was told in your face, people will be like, what? So rude, because you would think the person is saying not to speak, like zip your mouth up, right? But actually in this one, the way I'm trying to introduce to everyone is, you can say this when you are surprised too. So easy example to imagine is that, say that your friend is telling you a story that happened to her, and she's telling you a story that how she ran into a super famous celebrity on the street. Then you can go, shut up, like in Japanese, <gasps> so lucky of you! Shut up! Ugh, I wish I could have been there too! Next one, get out! So this phrase can be used just the same as the second one we just went over, shut up. When you are surprised, you can go, get out! But please be careful how you say it and when you say this phrase, because if you say it, get out! The person who was told might think, oh my gosh, should I leave? Do I, do I have to go? So please be careful. So another easy example that we can picture it easily is that say that there's a concert and then it's so hard to get a ticket of that concert. But your friend said, oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe this. I got a ticket! And you both know that how lucky it was to get that ticket. So you can tell your friend, get out! Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Get out! Sugoi jung! Get out! Like that. Next one, say what? So this is a super casual and abbreviated version of saying what did you say. Let's try to picture this situation together. So let's say your close friend or your family member is talking about something and that something is like, I'm sorry but super boring. And the person who's talking is trying to check if we're listening but it's just so boring that it kind of shows on your face and sometimes I react like this too, but you can go, say what? Show and express that like it's just like boring. So like with the face expression, like say what? Next one. It's all right. I only waited like million years. No biggie. You know, Japanese people are known to be as humble people and that's true, but it does not mean that you don't feel stress or irritation or get angry, right? So if you're meeting up with your friend or boyfriend, girlfriend, and if the person showed up so late, let's give them a little punch by saying, it's all right, I only waited like million years. No biggie. Next one. Mmm, I don't get it at all. So this phrase is actually similar to the fourth one we went over, say what? You are kind of listening to a person's story, but you actually don't give a shit. You are not interested in that story. So you can be sarcastic and pretend you're listening by going, mmm, mmm. But when the person says like, right, do you get it? You can go, oh, I do not get it at all. Eh, eh. So that's what it means in Japanese and as you said, it's kind of like a sarcastic way to respond. Next one. Did you make a deal with Satan? Make a deal with devil or make a deal with Satan actually means that you're giving up your moral integrity to gain power and success. So it might be a little mean, but the times you can use this phrase is, for example, say that somebody got like a plastic surgery to make themselves look younger, then you can go, Oh, did 
Did she make a deal with Satan? So what you mean by this is that you're saying, ooh, she's got devil or Satan as her backup, so she's got like a fake layer of beauty. Ooh, I'm sorry, that's mean, but that's what it means. Next one. What the hell are you talking about? So this phrase is a natural English and it's actually a fun phrase to use it. Let's say that your friend is giving you a spotlight and talking about you in such a great way. For example, like, she got promoted. And if you're a shy person, you are happy that you were talked about it, but you want to redirect this, you know, attention to the other people. Then you can say, what the hell are you talking about? No, no, no. That's not me. In Japanese, it can be translated to like, Kind of like that. <laughs> Two more phrases. Here we go. Oh, I paid her to say that. This is actually a really fun phrase. Let's say that your friend said a really nice thing about you, right? And then you want to be funny instead of saying like, Oh, thank you. Then you can say, I paid her to say that. So she's saying good things about me. Even though you didn't pay her just to be funny, you know, in that crowd, you can say, I paid her to say that. It's fun, right? Last one, here we go. Seriously, you are weird. So when you use the word weird to characterize someone, it's actually a little bit offensive and not really nice way to describe someone. So you really gotta be careful when and how to use this. But if you're really close to that person and if the person says or did something, you can just go, seriously, you are so weird. And it actually means that you adore this person, so it won't be taken as like an you know, offensive way. And I actually say this to my girls too. So in our home, I usually use it like this. You know what, you guys? I'm weird, so can't help it, but seriously, you guys are so weird. And the funny part is that when I try to make a joke, my daughters now these days say, Mom, you are so weird. <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you so much for going over with me. We covered another 10 phrases together. I hope the phrases I introduced in this video can make your conversation more fun and joyful. If you never said these phrases before, I hope you would give it a try. Thank you so much for watching till the end, everyone. I hope everyone will have a fantastic day today. See you soon. Goodbye!